Alright, then I believe too. And with that, there's only one thing left to say. Let's rev it up! Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, oh, so I went to Locust today and I, I managed to get that completed and I ended up to... It, it kind of sucked though because I... Um, uh, the logos was um was a bit earlier today, so it was like an hour earlier. So I got there like mid round one. So I was like really good thinking about it. So answers or not? But oh man, I came all this way, so might as well just enter. So then um I ended up um uh, get, getting that completed, and then um it, that's pretty cool. It's really cool when you when you when you when you been working on a deck like, and then you just get get it completed. It's like oh, do you actually have the cards now? Like it's really cool. Excuse the glare. There's like a gl really, like really black glare, glare. but I'll, 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 hopefully it's not so bad. <laughs> okay, so you play at uh, three. Um, this is like the quick draw of the deck, pretty much. It don't break your hand. Um, uh, Christian Sofnir, and then you play the the purple one, uh, which is such as monster. So pretty much, um, this um, you can discard a Christian card, special summon from hand or grave, and then pop a card you control, and then it normally you just pop itself and then float into. On the, like with the little Christron, which is these. Um, you have your your non-tuners. Pretty much, they all pop a face-up card, um, and a special Christron tuner, which is these guys. But when you do that, you're strictly it's like you're under barrier, kind of, where you can only special summon machine synchros from here. Come here. Yeah, only, only machine synchro type monsters. Um, the turn you use that, so you gotta be careful when you do that. Cause like, there's <laughs> when I first started playing the deck, I would use this effect and I try to go toad. Like, oh shit, it wasn't letting me go toad, and it's cause you can't, cause you, you already use its effect. So pretty much, uh, this guy floats into any of these guys, and then this guy pops itself or any other face-up card and specials one of these guys. So that's like that's consistency in itself. So that's really really cool. And then in the grave, um, the purple one banishes itself and adds any crystal monster. So that's really really good because it gets you any any piece you want, which is pretty much this guy. And then this one pretty much searches any crystal spell or trap, but you just play impact, so you just search for impact. And then uh, this one you banish it from your grave, and then you special crystal from your hand. And that's why there's like maxed out tuner because you're playing 60. I mean maybe if you're playing 40, but sometimes like it comes up where where you have a clocky hand and you want to use this effect. And that like at first it doesn't come up when you first start playing the deck. It doesn't really come up, but the more you play it. The more you're gonna want to be making this guy, cause this guy's insane, man. And um, banishing him and specialing from grave, I mean from hand, is really, really useful at that point. Um, but yeah, like I said, at, at the beginning, it, it didn't seem as useful at, at, at start. But the more I played it, I was like, oh damn, it, it's actually, it's actually pretty useful. So I just played three, cause like sometimes you you open up these guys and you have this and you want something to pitch. Like when I played one, I'd be like, oh crap, I only have one Ryan, and it's in the graveyard. Already. I mean. You could you could try to get away with one, um, and just I guess risk a similar situation with Jet Synchron or the one yeah like the one Jet Synchron. I guess you could do it the same way, but I don't know. I just feel like three is just three and three, which is really good. I mean, in sixty card deck, it's more spread out, so you don't really um, it's it's the chances are lower. I mean, of course, statistics. I'm not really, I'm not really like a big fan of that, but like it doesn't really happen as often if you as if you were playing forty. And then you have your Frog Engine, of course. Uh, cause the, everything is water, like so. You, every, if everything's water, so it's cool. So the, these are your, these are your own brickers, pretty much. Cause you, like, like if you have this, and um, and you have this in hand, like you could like pitch this, and then uh, banish this, add this, and then um, just start your momentum that way. So that's really really fun. That's really really cool. And then dupes, just yeah, man, <laughs> that's really good. And then you play your your set your seven starter cards, which is. Pretty much dump anything. Pretty much. Well, this dumps anything. Pretty much. Um, this one's okay. I guess. Uh, I guess. Uh, nah. And it's still good. It, math. This is still good. But like. No. And then you have your scraps. So this. Yeah. Thank you, James. Thank you. So um, pretty much. This is what con the, this is consisting in itself. But when this alone doesn't do the job, which is you don't want to open up this, this, and this, and like this. Like you can't do anything with that. The best thing you can do is just summon activate effect. And then having a matrix on their turn, which is pretty pretty underwhelming. So that's where these come in, where this sets up your um, sending this guy, because this guy gives you um, this, 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 and then or any of those. So that's really really good. So you want to get into that as fast as you can. And then you just play your your two garnets or your two bricks, because 
playing one, you, you can try to play one, but it's 60 cards. So the odds are, like, if you use one, and then you're like drawing, like with with 60 cards, it's like it, you have to have every card be more to more. It, it has to be significant enough to be in the deck. Otherwise, because it's 60 cards, man, like it's freaking. But by the, the time you get to that certain card, it's like, who knows, man? It's it's, it's much more farther away. So uh, for that, that, those cards have to be really significant. So uh, there's some where I, went, I used one on a topic, and the other one's like, well, this is dead. So I was like, I'd rather risk it and just 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 play it, cause like uh, top decking that is just insane, man. Sending anything can just just get your engine going. So these are these are your monsters, and it's, uh, once again, sorry for the glare, it's like a major glare. Um, so yeah, that's pretty insane, man. It's pretty good. Like it's four. I mean, if I didn't get that freaking round one loss, oh my god, who knows? Who knows? Who knows what what it could have been? And then you have your spells. Uh, Oh, another thing I want to point out. Okay, so these are one of them. Okay, so one thing I want to point out. This is not 60 cards. And this is not the focal point. I know it's going to go to one. This is not the focal point. This has just become a power card. Whereas if you draw it, it's like it's become another soul charge essentially. Like pretty much that's what it's become. Because it's at one. It's that good that if you draw it, you pretty much going to almost give yourself the edge. Like it's just freaking good. Because like same thing with soul charge. If you draw it, it's like freaking insane. And Regeki, same similar similar argument. And then this is pretty much it's pretty much another another scrap or another math. It's just not on the legs. And then book, I just like book because like opening it and go and going or or going second is really good. You can use it on their turn, use it on, on, on your own turn. That's really good. I like it. And then uh, of course board up could go in second. It's like man, dude, like you have to you have to have something for going second. Like otherwise you just. You just need <laughs> answers, man, because, like, no way. Like, right now, the boards that are being established right now are just too insane. And then you play um, three Chalice, because, like, Calamities, and of course, like, Dwellers, because uh, against Draco, and then Masterpiece. Because sometimes Masterpiece, unless they tribute to Spell and Trap, then you can get away with it with monster effects. But most of the time, they're going to either tribute a, a trap and a monster, or they're going to tribute um, tribute a, a spell on a monster. Not, not all the time, both, depending on if they're... Uh, unless the, that's like the only thing they can do, just tribute two monsters to get a masterpiece on board. And um, you have either or in this deck. You have um, breakthroughs, um, Venomiscus, and yeah, Canadia. So it's it, it, it's really good on that on that part. I like that part. And then um, of course you have your your you have your traps. You have your impact. It's like really really good. It's like great. It's really good against um, Zoo and Draco because if if Draco they tribute a trap. That means you can negate their effect if they if you just tribute a spell or a, a monster. If you, like whenever whenever one of your crystal monsters is, is um, targeted, you just banish it from your grave and then just negate it. <laughs> That's really good. And this is good because like you have your setup, your Trish or whatever setup, right? And you just break through them, and then it's gonna be another another copy pretty much on your turn. So if they have another Dryden, you just negate it. So it's really, really good. It's kind of similar to the case the impact. And then um, I, th I was playing all noids, but like. I don't know, like I wanted something more significant because there's so many times I had, I would have this and Olenoids. I mean, I guess if you go against two Draco, I guess it's, it's good against that matchup because you just um, Olenoids the, the diagram. But I don't know, like I, I just I didn't like that comfort. Like I, I wanted something responsive, and I think these these nine were just better. What this twelve is really really good. I don't know. I, so far, I like how this flows. It just flows really really well. Um. Yeah, so that's cool. That's the main deck. 60 cards. And then the X deck stick is good. Like if I could get a if I could get another toad, I'll play a three toad. Because three toad always it comes up so many times. So, so you play Quarry on Gandrax, uh Crystal Phoenix, um Trishula, um Crystal Wing, Rose, Insectron, and three I like three of these, man. Like this comes up so much, and that's what gives. This is what gives the deck resilience. Cause it, 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 you, if the dark hole you, make this float into Sophonir, and then if they kill Sophonir, you float into another thing. Is uh, like this really good? The fact that you can just use this guy recklessly, it's just really, 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 really good. I was playing Catastrophe, but I, I just ended up cutting it. And then you play two of this guy, cause this guy's insane. And you play two toads. And I'm missing a card. I was playing Clear Ring. Um, but um, I'm gonna end up cutting it. So if I, I'm gonna try to get another to to three toad instead because it's, it's three toad. It, oh man, it just comes up so many times, so many times. And then the extra deck. 
Um, I mean, the side deck was um, I was playing this three mask, um, and three of the water water true king because um, going second. I, I did not want to play traps for one second, like that, that, no way, man. <clears throat> but yeah, that was like a last minute thing, like I was like trying to make something out of it. And then, uh, and one of my friends, uh, in, in the last round, um, <laughs> Liam, uh, uh, he, I, I ended up, because he, play, he was playing, um, True Draco, um, Zoo, uh, True Draco Zoo, pretty much. And, um, he ended up, um, when, when they were playing, I ended up, uh, I think I want a Dyro. Yeah, I want a Dyro. I ended up go first. I I, I, I go with Set. Set Dynamiscus, Set Breakthrough, Set Book of Moon. And I summon Swap, send the Ronin Toad, and I pass, I think. And I have uh, Proz, the little turtle guy. So then, then I go pass, I go, and then he goes, he summons, um, he summons, what's it called? Brat. <laughs> and then I just better Dynamiscus, and it, 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 it just, oh my god, that became such a freaking hilarious joke. And then I banish it, and then um, and then he and then he just sets two back when passes, and then the following turn I ended, I ended up making a toad or something. But yeah, I, I ended up taking game one, and then game two we go into the game two, and um, it it was it was gonna I oh my god I really fucked up like really bad. I was supposed to, I was supposed to make this guy, and I um I missed it because I was supposed to add a Chris Strong card because I had impacts in my grave, so I was going to um. Um, have a secure because he he had he had a masterpiece, uh, two dridents, and yeah, that's it. Two masterpiece, two dridents, and he had uh, what else did he have? Oh no, but like um, masterpiece was unaffected by spells and monster monsters, and then um, the dridents were just just there. So I had three impacts in grave. So I was like, oh, I can I can go Gandrax, and then banish the the dridents. And uh, I think it was an emerald or, or a, what was it? Hammer? Oh, freaking! Well, I don't know what it was. A hammer kong? Can't remember what it was. It was something else. And, and masterpiece. I was like, okay, I just, I just banish that, and then run over the the masterpiece, and then I'll be freaking good. And then I ended up adding something else, but I, like I don't really like doing the word. Oh shit! Oh shit! I messed up. Can I guess it? I, I don't like doing it. Like once I do a move, I just I stick to that move because it was my mistake. But um, otherwise I would have. Otherwise I'm pretty sure I would have had it. But that, but either way, anyways. Liam, it's still good. It's all, all good. Okay, so pretty much what happened was he had a bit of tiebreakers in the mean because like I had a, a, a game loss in round one, so he was like, um, since I had better tiebreakers, um, uh, I, I had better uh, topping, and he's like, if if um, if you give me the win, I'll I'll give you half my packs. I was like, yeah, go for. It. I was like, at first, let me say, hmm, let me see. Uh, I was thinking about it, thinking about it, and then well, let me see if I can break your board first, and if I can't, then um, I'll I'll, I'll do it. So then I wasn't able to because of because of the mistake. Oh my god! Well, so bad. And then um, he ends up um, going to top eight, and I was like, oh shit! I, like, if he does good, that means good for me because he ended up giving me. He, um, he ended up winning, so he I ended up getting half a box. But the best thing about it was just these three baboons. <laughs> like, oh my god, Liam! Oh my god, thank you. So next time, if we're ever in the same situation, like let's say um, if I ask you, um, oh, would you give me the win? And and I'll share. I'll give you half my packs. I, I, I would legit do the same thing. Thank you. Thank you so much. But yeah, that was that was it was a pretty good day, man. It was it was it was really cool. I mean, <laughs> the secret they got is oh my god. So um, the best thing was three bit boom. But anyways, yeah, the deck so far is I like the deck so far. Like, like hands down, if you if you don't like fucking brick, you can you can you can do some crazy stuff, man. You can do some crazy stuff because everything floats and it's just insane. But that's what it was gonna be it, man. Um, I'll do a combo video. A more in-depth co combo video later on. I'll do I'll probably I'll do it tomorrow because it's my night time. It's like my eight night. It's gonna be my ten in two minutes, and it's already getting pretty long. But yeah, um, if you have any suggestions, put put in the comments down below. And thanks for watching.